Hello. Today is October 19 and it's the first um, night when it's really cold. It's, it's, I don't know if you see it, it's white. Um, I don't know if I'm happy about it or sad about it because the mud go, is going away when it's cold but the ground is very hard so it's difficult when you're going to uh, ride uh, in the forest and on the roads uh, so it makes you kind of handicapped where you train your horse but it is like it is it's no meaning of uh, crying over it uh, what's on my mind today I was thinking do you know it says like 80% of all horses have uh, problems with their stomach that is because of stress and that is terrible before you, you thought it was only race horses who have it but uh, now you know that it's almost every horse who has this uh, problem and that is because we try to keep the horses in a way that is comfortable for us but that is what's comfortable for us that is unnatural for the horse and it makes them feel stress you see here this is what horses like to do I don't know if you see it. they like to be in a big group uh, they like to eat, scratch each other, sleep, when somebody is, rest, is uh, watching it. You, you have noticed that, that when you have a pack of horse, there is, they are not laying down all of them, not sleeping all of them at the same time. There is always one individual who uh, uh, keep watch. Um, because that's the smartest thing to do when you live in a world full of uh, dangerous animals and you know dangerous trees and stones and everything that horses is afraid of <laughs> but you have to understand that it's not if, if a horse that is uh, a wise one it's not uh, actually the stone it's afraid of or like my horse it can jump for this tree but it's not a tree it's because she thinks it's a snake. Uh, so she sees something that could be a snake and then she wah, jump away because it's safer things to do. I know it would be stupid to say, oh, I think that would be a snake. I think I stand here until I'm sure. Uh-uh, it doesn't work like that. So when a horse is afraid of a stone or something, or it jumps away or, you know, it's not because of its stone. It, it is uh, because of what it could be. So that's what horses do. First they jump to get safe and then when they have uh, a good distance between them they turn around and look at it and try to see if it's safe or dangerous. If it's safe they continue to eat because uh, that's what horses do. They eat. Their entire life is uh, it's eating and scratching each other. Um, uh, so, what you should think about it when we ride a horse, it's absolutely unnatural for them. They are not used to, you know, like walk around in meaningless circles or straight lines for an hour or, or how long we know, right? Uh, because they, they walk a little bit to find new food, then they stop. The food is uh, they need more food and they walk to the next place and then they get afraid of something so they run in a big circle and then there comes something that they want to impress for then they run in a circle and put their tails up and they bend their necks and look very cool and then they eat again so when people talk about it's unnatural to be riding they talk about that we sit on them uh, like we have uh, iron in their mouth and blah 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 but we forget that the most unnatural is that we stop the horses from doing what horses do so uh, that's what you should think about it's we think of the big things but think of the small things first
that's much more. So how can we do it much more natural to ride a horse? Uh, at first we need to have a plan. plan. I'm very sorry for my bad English, I do these videos to train myself. Um, a plan, because horses, they do things of a reason. They are hungry, so they eat. They are tired, so they sleep. Uh, they are happy, so they run. So why? They need to find the answer in your brain, because yes, horses read your brain. Wherever you like it or don't like it, they do it. So you can't just do it because uh, the trainer says so, or because uh, do, 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 say so. You need to know why you're doing it, so the horse know why it's doing it. Because the horses doesn't do things just for doing it. Um, so you need to have a plan. You need to be focused on that plan. So, so if you ride a horse, and, and uh, in the same time when you sit on his back, you try to make it run in circle. I don't know why, but people like very much to run in circles with horses. I don't know why. Horses don't either. Uh, so you did have a... Why do we run in this circle? Uh, and uh, you have to have a long-term plan. And that is maybe for a competition or to make the horse a better riding horse or just because you think it's funny. Or, but you need to know why. You can't do it. You can't sit and think about your uh, the bills you get in your mailbox when you come home or uh, your kids or your husband, your friend, what you're gonna shop in the supermarket when you go from the stable. You can't do that because then the horses don't find a plan. And when you don't have a plan, the horse will find out a plan. And that plan is not the kind of plan that you would have because the horses do what horses do. Uh, if nobody tells it to do uh, things, they continue being a horse. And the horse eats when it's hungry, it runs when it's afraid or happy, and it stops when it's tired. So, if you don't have a plan, your horses will uh, make it for you. And you don't gonna like it because it's very hard to ride. And then you get this problem that the horse doesn't listen to me and you pull and pull and you kick and kick. But still you, maybe you are stopped thinking about your bills or blah, blah, blah. But you still don't have a plan because now you're just angry at the stupid horse. You're angry because he's not doing what you say. He's not... Uh, run in a big circle and looks happy, so you take him into a small circle because I think that would make him happy. Or maybe not. <laughs> uh, but when you do that, the horse will not feel comfortable with you. And when a horse doesn't feel comfortable about his life or you or, yeah, you know, then he gets more stress. And when the horse gets stressed, he got problems with his stomach. And that is not something you want to have. You can see it in his fur. It's like not nice. Uh, you can see how he stands. Uh, you can see it, he got a lot of uh, uh, problem, you know, with his uh, with everything. I can't say just one thing, but his whole body goes in wrong. He doesn't feel good. So if you want to have your horse healthy. Have a plan, stick to it, and be safe. And try to respect that horses are not humans. They do things for reason. And now some people would think, oh, when I ride, I need to let the horse do what I do. No, because then the horse only will uh, eat, and that would not be a fun. So if, I mean, we, we need to understand that, yes, it's unnatural to ride a horse, but if you want to do it, do it properly. No, and that doesn't mean that he should go and eat. Because when you ride a horse, you will always learn something to it. And it is like that. There's a special system in the horse that is uh, for the learning. And when a horse is horny, hungry or afraid, he can't learn something. And if the horse knows 
but there is the slightest possibility that he could eat when you're riding him. He's gonna be hungry. He's gonna be looking for food everywhere and try to eat. So, then you can learn something for him. So, when you train a horse, he must be not hungry, not horny, not afraid. Uh, then he do what you want, even if he probably don't understand why, but he do it. Uh, that was what horses do. They are very, very nice creatures. They do what we say uh, without any questions. Sometimes I think they are too nice. Sometimes we shouldn't do what they, what we say because we say like 85 things at the same time. Have you think about that? Um, everything in your body says something for the horse when you sit on it. It's the leaning of your back, the tension in your stomach, the tension in your foot, what you say in your brain, how you pull the reins, how you kick him, everything says something. And you know what? Often all these body parts say different things. Yeah. So the horses have to shut you off because otherwise you would be crazy. And then you will... Um, Notice he is like hard on the reins, hard under your legs, and that is because you say so much things to him with your body that they have to shut you down. So only the most strong helps will reach to him. It doesn't help to make stronger help when he doesn't listen. Make less with your whole body. Then you get a safe horse uh, with no problems. With, your stum with his stomach or her stomach and that makes riding and spending time with horses so much more simple. So uh, that's all today. I know I talked too long so I try to make this short. Have a nice day.